this is Mike Okpara University in Umwahia, Abia State. Yes, today we'll be taking you guys on a road trip from Abia to Ikotekwene in Akwa Ibom State. So let's go, guys. Hi, guys, you're welcome to our channel. We'll be doing a quick road trip from Abia Umwa here to Ecotech Bene. So we are just uh, at Mike Okpara University, which more or less like already out of uh, Umwa here precisely. So we'll be taking that on the road trip to see what the current state of the road is and how far they've gone. Some friends told me they worked on it, but we're going to be exploring that together today. If you are new to our channel, you're welcome to Alin TV. Do not hesitate to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell so you get to know we upload new videos and for returning subscribers thank you very much i really do appreciate your love for our channel and um, we're currently on the road as you can see all dusty not looking tired at all the only difference from what i can see compared to before is the fact that it is all level it is not uh, gully as it used to be yeah the road was quite scary at the point but uh, now i know my friend who frequent this road told me oh the road is better the road is better so i said okay we're going to be using here so from what i can observe i think work was on on the road but i don't know why they stopped we are still along the umaya axis or the abia axis of this road so you can see that this part is tired we just left uh, the bad spot into the third one so i think work was going on but i can't see any tractor to show that there is continuity in the job you understand so but let's keep going down probably there's a stretch of work currently going on and let's see how the road is going to be if you've used this road in recent time let us know in the comment section let us tell us your experience about it and if you have not if you are seeing it for the first time so also give us your thoughts in the comment section um i used this road a couple of months back it was not all good because uh, it was still very bad first when i was returning back from uyo that time that very day friends had to advise me to go through the abia axis though i still encounter a lot of bad roads coming through uh, abba i mean to say through abba axis so but uh, i still encountered quite a number of bad roads but then again still 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 the same so but as you can see here is looking all tired i think this is newly done so that's why i said i think work is on on the road but currently there is no tractor as i'm riding on this path now so these are all the spots left undone still looking um so though like i said looking much more smoother than what it used to be before it used to be gully you have to go into a dish come out of a dish and all of that and it's very bad during the rainy season because ha, you won't even know where it's deep and where it's uh, not deep so sometimes our car seems to suffer a lot on this road but with this being flat like this i think it's a better it's a better way to run even though we know the road is not good so i know the uh, the Aqua Ibom Axis seems to be very good on this road, but we'll be checking that out if anything has changed by the time we're approaching uh, the Kotek Bene Axis of the road. But I know it used to be very, very good. Only the Abia Axis seems to have lots, lots and lots of issues. So, but let's trust that the governor, the current governor of Abia State in person of uh, Alex OT is going to do quite a number of jobs in Abia State because this is one of the major roads that links, uh, it's an interstate road. You know so i think it should be cool it should be good leading into your state one beautiful thing again that i observed uh, driving in is that i learned that the bad spots all around umwa here they are better they have been fixed at least we don't jump into dishes again as we used to do before this umu dk before this uh michael para the road used to be very bad before you get to michael para you got to run on some very bad dishes before you get to michael para but now i think when we are coming all the parts all the all the spots are good and all of that so I think uh, the governor has done those areas and that's quite impressive and uh, good so just left to the express part to be done so like i said there are signs that work was actually going on but currently there are no tractors on the road so let's hope that uh, all will be completed pretty pretty soon if you are seeing our video for the first time again and you are not yet a subscriber do want to click the subscribe button to join our big family and for returning subscribers thank you very much we really do appreciate your love for our channel i will say again do give us your honest review give us thoughts 
in the comment section we are looking forward to that and give us recommendation on how we can make our videos even better yeah for my abia people if i'm passing through your community and you're seeing this video do well to rep your community in the comment section let me know i just drove past your community and tell me your experience about the road so we are still on the road so driving down towards uh Aqua Ibom State. This is still the Abia axis, all looking bumpy. This is how this part has always been. So it's just the Abia part that is bad, you know. So I believe by the time Abia does their own, it's going to be a very smooth and easy ride from Umwa here down to down to Ikotekwene. And the road seems to be very safe. This road is quite very safe because there are a lot of communities around the area. That does not mean I advise you travel on the path at night, but then um relatively the road is the road is safe i've not really heard of any bad incident along this path so one shouldn't be scared when riding on this uh umahia ikotekwene road so the path seems to be very 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 safe so let's keep it going pretty soon we'll be entering aquaibom state we are almost at the boundary let's check out that axis and see how it is i think one major issue the road is having as well the drain there's no drainage system so i think water seems to spoil the road a lot because when it is when it's raining season there's a whole lot of water piled up on the road that we have to jump on when we are using this part i think it's contributing to destroying the road i think if you are going to do the road at all uh, the contractors should be should consider putting drainage system along the road just to ease um, some certain things so we are almost we are almost in aquaibum state yeah, we are literally in aquaibum state as you can see the difference in the road is quite clear because uh, the aquaibum part was done by the state government way 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 back so we are currently in aquaibum state heading down towards ecotepene at the moment so the road is quite good and from my observation too it looks like they newly just touched the road again because um there's this line they drew on the road just to ease just to increase friction and all of that on the road so it's making quite a lot a, a lot of noise so i don't know but i think the road was newly done because it was not really like this the last time i used it so i don't know if it's called the festive period just to keep drivers cautious or keep the commuters cautious i don't know but quite a lot of noise is going on so the road is looking like scratch 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 so let's keep it going guys we'll be in ecotech when in a gp and we'll be terminating this video at four points so stay tuned to just see how the four points roundabout looks like uh, for first time viewers give me your thoughts about our video in the comment section and don't hesitate to also click the subscribe button to join our big family returning subscribers you know we have serious love for you guys for always supporting us and for always coming through for our channel we really do appreciate your love for it so we are in into aquaibum state very well now so if we are passing through your community in aquaibum state do well to also rep your location one drawback that this road have is that it's a single lane road and one still needs to apply serious caution when riding on this path because as you observe just now big trailers and all of that also pass through the road so serious caution needs to be applied in regards to speed and all of that and a lot of bikes are also on the road especially on the aquaibum axis so one needs to apply serious caution when driving you know the way bike men can be sometimes so once i'm approaching aquaibum i drive at the very minimum speed and i don't really overtake so much i just ensure i leave here very well into ecotec when they road very well before i run at the speed i want to run or overtake as the case may be so I advice if you're using the road for the first time please go at the control speed and um, just um, be cautious of the bikes around so we are already in aqua we're already in uh, ecotec when so just approaching their traffic light from there we'll be going to the roundabout leading to four point Sheraton. So, guys, let's keep it going. If you are from Aquaibom State, don't hesitate to wrap your location. I'm in your city, and we are coming to explore your city. We'll be visiting different areas. Do well to also recommend where to stay for us. So, thank you so much, guys. That's four point Sheraton, as you can see ahead of us. For first time viewers, again, do well to click the subscribe button to join our family. And for returning subscribers, thank you and above all do not hesitate to give me your thoughts give me your opinion about this road in the comment section we'll be looking forward to that and like i said before like, like i said before we are open for your recommendations your suggestions on how we can improve our videos and make it even better 
for you guys so aqua Ibom state we are here so let's take this journey down to uyo in a g fee and that is four point sheraton in ecotec when this is how the roundabout look they have a mini mini uh, christmas village just by the side thank you so much guys we really do appreciate you we'll catch you in our next video